The pelvic floor is a group of muscles that attach to your pubic bone in the front. They wrap around the urethra. They wrap around the vagina if you have one. They support the prostate if you have one. They wrap around the rectum and attach to the coccyx in the back. And then they fan out to the sides to attach to the hips um, on both the right and left sides. The function of the pelvic floor is to keep all of those pelvic organs nice and tightly up in there, but it also helps you to allow your bladder to empty. Um, it supports the bladder so that you're not leaking all over the place when your bladder is filling. It lets babies out, it lets things in, um, and it lets you be able to defecate as well, so have a bowel movement. So the pelvic floor affects incontinence in a couple of ways. If the pelvic floor muscles are not strong enough, then they're not able to hold back. So if you have a sneeze or a cough or increased abdominal pressure like by exercise, what happens is that pressure from the abdominals force that pelvic floor and when it's too weak, it can't hold that back. And so that results in urinary incontinence. If those muscles are too tight, okay, versus too strong, um, if they're too tight, again, thinking about um, a, a muscle that has been overworked, there's a knot in your shoulder, again, it's too tight. So you feel like you have to go to the bathroom all the time, urgency frequency. So when we think about uh, pelvic floor exercises or Kegels is what a lot of people, and that's just kind of the basic tips of the iceberg. When we think about uh, numbers and again, how many that we should be doing, I would say anywhere between 30 and 50 squeezes a day. One of the ways that you can complement your pelvic floor exercises is to make sure that you're not holding your breath while you are engaging in certain exercise. When you, what we call Valsalva, so you hold your breath, that, hold, that pushes your diaphragm down on your abdominals, increases abdominal pressure, where is it gonna go? It's gonna put pressure on that pelvic floor muscle too. And so that stress can cause weakness of those pelvic floor muscles and again, lead to incontinence. One of the products that you can use for incontinence, whether it be stress incontinence, urge incontinence, is a bladder control pad. The reason for that being is if you don't have access to pelvic PT, you don't have um, a stronger pelvic floor, then we still want you to have a, a healthy, happy life, right? And so being able to use one of those bladder control pads can be really helpful for managing that incontinence. Um, you can wear them during the day. We encourage you to change them often as that can lead to infections if you leave them on for longer periods of time.